Last time there was a storm, we lost power. Refrigerator, freezer, everything was ruined, so. What's up guys? We are currently gonna go out and get some preparedness supplies. Because if you wait till the last minute, everything is gone. Doesn't matter what it is, it's, it's gone. It's crazy. Like legit, it's crazy. I didn't experience it until like my first... Like after my first year here, I was like, oh it's a hurricane, like okay, like we'll get a few groceries. No. Here, there is no gas, there is no groceries, there is no wood because everyone's boarding up their windows. It's crazy, you can't find anything it really is. when so, they say a storm's coming. We are gonna go ahead of time, hopefully, hope nobody else has this idea, and get some stuff, because it'll all be gone. Whether a storm comes or not, it'll still all be gone, so. We actually need groceries anyway, so we're not buying anything excessive, we're just getting stuff that we usually would get. Um, yeah, so we need groceries anyway. Yep, and we gotta have food. We need gas in our car. So that's what we're going to do. So off we go. Okay, so the first stop, don't judge, is McDonald's. I'm telling you, it's yeah. bad. I'm crazy nice. McDonald's. Nice. She loves McDonald's. Ali, your seatbelt needs to go in front of you, okay? Put your seatbelt back in front of your arm. Okay. So, first stop, McDonald's. McDonald's. Gotta love the fries. This is a bad, bad, bad pregnancy craving. That and my iced coffee. All right, so we actually bought a generator this time. Lowe's, this is our second stop. Because last time there was a storm, we lost power. Refrigerator, freezer, everything was ruined. So I went ahead and tried to think ahead this time. Okay, so our third stop technically wasn't a stop because we had the groceries delivered to our house um, instead of going to the grocery store. And then John at Lowe's did like just the pickup. Um, so that's been nice. You don't have to actually come in contact with too many people. But anyway, this is our groceries. I'll take everything inside. And I will, um, a, a lot of you guys have asked, I don't think it's that interesting, but a lot of you have asked to see like what we order, like for our groceries or whatever. So I'll show you what we ordered for this, for the hurricane and like just basic groceries that we needed anyway. Most of them are essential items like toilet paper, cause you gotta have it, paper towels, stuff like that. So nothing too crazy, diapers, wipes, Ready? Anytime we're ready for a storm, it usually never comes, so this is good. <laughs> so we're preparing yeah, we for not being ready. Yeah, we got stuff though that we all, that we need anyway, so that it's not a waste and stuff that we're gonna eat and we're gonna use. But it's also stuff that is necessary if we did lose power or something like that, because you gotta have diapers, you gotta have wipes. This is our pencil. Okay, I'll show you real quick everything that we got. You bring it over here. Okay. Mac and cheese. Diapers and wipes. No, mac and cheese. Most important. Diapers then, and wipes. Diapers and wipes. Toilet paper. Um, there's paper towels. Oh, behind me. We have all girls. This is gonna last like a day. But we do know. still have toilet paper. Okay. Like it's not really like we're going zero. zero. <laughs> okay. Trash bags. A lot of stuff at Publix is buy when we free, so freezer bags. We have a cake in the cabinet where we don't have icing. This is not an essential, but it's a pregnancy craving, so. Cake. Essential, <laughs> essential. Look, it was necessary. I, I weighed the pros and the cons, and it was necessary for happiness. <laughs> <laughs> That's essential. Okay. Essential happiness. Uh, 
shampoo and conditioner stuff, body that's, wash. That's mine. John. That's my entire grocery run. Yeah. There it is. John and his hairspray. There this is. is what he needs. My grocery run for Makeup like remover three wipes. Months. In case there's no water and I need to take my makeup off, provided I'm wearing makeup, then I need these. Kind of essential. Muffins. I mean, these are great. Just need water. <laughs> Cereal, milk, goldfish, rice, cheeses. One of these fell off the counter, but there's two of these because they were buying them free. Last night, muffin mix, which you only have to add milk. These are also great. If you want a really easy breakfast or something like that, these are great. Last time, we had no candles. Buy them all free candles. Squeeze these. And then just some refrigerated stuff. Well. Oh, and some pans of soup. Lexi and John both love soup. So. Oh yes, the child after my own heart. Yes. I love soup since I was a kid. I still do. There you have it. A grocery run for five and a half people. Yep. So this will last us like a week or two weeks. Typically we only go to the grocery store every other week. So this is the generator I got. It's a cat. RP6500. Okay, whatever. It's not very important, but. Okay, so I got a generator because last time, like I said, we went without power. So that's what we got today. So that was stop number two. So we went to McDonald's, got breakfast, slash lunch. Most important, obviously, for a pregnant lady named Alyssa. Then we went to Lowe's, got this generator. Got my gas can because that's the next stop. We had to come home to do the groceries. Now we're gonna go get gas and I think Alyssa had a couple more things she wanted to get so that's what we're off to. What are we doing? Getting gas! Going to the car wash! We're yep. getting the new car wash! The new car wash. Different colors? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but I have to open it too. I don't remember that. Time for a car wash. Yay! Yay! They love going through the car wash. <laughs> because it has different colors, like when you go through it, they love it. What color is your favorite, Allie? All the colors. Oh, you like all the colors? It's just green and black and white and gray. Wow. And green. For someone who likes all the colors. Yes. Here we go. All right, here we go. Okay, so I wanted to get on really quickly and give you guys an update. I'm sorry about the glare in my glasses. Um, you just have to ignore that. But anyway, I wanted to say the storm did not end up coming here to Florida, which is why it's so difficult to plan and prepare when a hurricane is coming because a lot of times, you know, you'll be on the weather and they'll say, oh, you know, a hurricane is expected to come, but you just never know the path that a hurricane is going to take. It did end up going to Louisiana, and it was a very, very tragic and devastating storm. I know at least six people lost their lives in the hurricane, and I know a lot of people lost their homes. A lot of things were destroyed. Um, so our thoughts and prayers go out to all of those people who were affected, and to all of the loved ones and family members who did lose someone in this terrible hurricane. Um, our prayers are with you. And we just wish you the best and that we hope that you're able to get the help that you need through all of the different relief programs that there are. Um, I will try to link some relief 
um, websites below if you're interested in helping to give or to help out with um, hurricane needs for those who were affected.